Hey guys, this is Julie with Crafty Beach, and today I'm going to make a cute spring doormat using sublimation. So first I went online, I googled spring doormat to get some ideas of maybe something I would want to make, and I found a cute one that was available at Home Depot. So I am going to go ahead and design on Canva. Um, I have Canva Pro. I like designing on there, but you could do this on anything. Word, pages, um, probably not a design studio because it would be too small. And so um, all I'm doing is setting a page. I have a printer, an Epson sublimation printer that does eight and a half by 11. So that's what size I'm setting it up for. I want it to be big because it's a doormat. So I'm gonna do half the letters on one sheet and half of the letters on the second sheet. So I'm gonna look for like maybe a calligraphy um, font and I can't really find anything close to the original, but this one will do. And I am just gonna make it as big as I possibly can. And that looks pretty good. I'm gonna make the O um, a ladybug. And I think that will work. So let me line this up here. And then I'm going to download it. I want it to have a transparent background and I'm just downloading that to my computer. So then I'm gonna work on my second sheet for sublimation. If you don't know about sublimation, sublimation is a process where ink turns into gas and sublimates into material, and that's what I wanna do with this doormat. So I have the ME for the end of welcome and then I am going to search for an element. I'm gonna search for a ladybug. And there's a lot of ladybugs. So this is just kind of an example of how many kinds of images that you have to choose from. I'm kind of looking back at theirs, what theirs look like. Theirs was kind of cartoony. I like, kind of like that one. But I'm gonna go see if there's something I like more. So of course I have to look at all of the ladybugs to make sure that I find the one that is my very favorite. So I'm going through and picking out some that I like and I'm kind of putting them on there to see what I think that first one's cartoonish this one's like cartoonish this one's really cartoonish so then I got my son for a second opinion and uh, asked him which one I should do of course he wants the more realistic one so that is the one that I chose. And it turned out really good. So the ladybug is gonna be the O of my welcome sign. So all I need to do is delete the other ladybugs and download it with a transparent background. All right, so I have both those files downloaded. So now I just have to go in and print them on my sublimation paper. Um, I need to go and reverse them or flip them horizontally. So it'll be like a mirror image. And print both of those. All right, so this is how they came out of the printer. They turned out good. I'm happy with the size. And then I am just going to take a plain doormat from Target. I'm trying to remember how much I paid for this. Maybe $8. They're not very expensive. They seem to have them all the time. Just with the other doormats, they're just the plain doormats. 
and I love these things. I have so many of them for different holidays, so I love being able to make my own now. This is the third one that I have sublimated successfully, and it's the Room Essentials brand at Target. First thing I'm going to do is try to just clean it up a little bit with a lint roller because it's got, you know, kind of loose fibers all over. I kind of want the cleanest um, image that I can get on it. And then I line up my sheets. I actually um, take the time to measure the sides because <laughs> last the last drug I had to cut because it was off-centered and it was driving me crazy. So then I start using my heat tape to tape this thing down. And I tape and tape and tape and tape and tape it. I forgot how things do not like to stick to this rug at all, which is one reason why I have never attempted using stencils with a Cricut because it just sounds like a nightmare. It's just so bumpy and rough, the texture of it. So I'm just doing the best I can just putting tape everywhere. And um, in hindsight, I should have cut um, on the side of the C or on the side of the ladybug and tried to get them closer together. I kind of forgot about the spacing on the margins of the paper. And then I'm gonna go in and sublimate. Um, what I use is 400 for two minutes. So I set it to 60 seconds and then I hit it twice in each location. I just feel like 60 seconds isn't enough, so I try two minutes. And that's what it looks like after two minutes um, coming through the sublimation paper. So I'm gonna do it for my second part here for two minutes. And the last two mats that I've tried um, turned out good, but they were kind of faded. Um, not enough color, not enough vibrancy. So I went in after I made them and kind of made them more bright with like paint pens and a little acrylic paint. This time I'm gonna try a different technique and see if I don't have to do that. So two minutes on each section. So that took me six minutes. And I think we're ready for the reveal. Let's see what we have. Turned out really nice. The only problem is that space there between the sea and the ladybug. And of course, I'm a perfectionist and I'm like, oh no, what did I do? And then I'm like, it's really not that bad. I can probably fix it. So what I did is I went in here in a little bit and you'll see what I did. So I'm gonna, this is my secret weapon. I'm gonna try this. It's Krylon um, Crystal Clear Acrylic Flat. And I'm just gonna spray the sublimation with this to try to bring out the colors. I discovered this technique um, um, doing reverse canvases, sublimating on plain canvases, and it was real faint, but when I sprayed it with a couple coats of this, it brought the colors out really bright and it is working i'm so excited so i kind of spray all over to seal it give it another good coating see how the colors have gotten darker it works really good a secret weapon then i'm like that spacing's driving me crazy so i went in with a black paint pen and painted on three legs to try to make it look like it was spaced a little bit better and this is the final result. I put it out. Um, I had an Easter welcome mat and this has replaced it. I think it turned out really good. And then just to show you um, the other two that I've made, this is the one that I made for Easter. I did a Ray Dunn inspired and I made that truck on Canva and put carrots in the back. And this is the one that I did for St. Patrick's Day. It was also a Ray Dunn inspired one. Home sweet home. What do you guys think?